Today we're going to be looking at two of the fastest cars in the world, the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport and the Remak Nevera. We're going to be doing heads up drag races. Let's jump into it. If you don't know about either of these cars, I'm going to do a quick 20 seconds on each one. The Remak Nevera is the world's fastest EV. It's a $2.4 million hypercar that's rated at over 1800 horsepower. The version I'm going to show you is limited to about 1700 horsepower. Remak is still doing final tuning on the car and I'm using this number based on a recent video from Drag Times where the car only reaches about 1240 kilowatts. The Chiron Pure Sport is the latest iteration of the Chiron. It's high downforce, shorter gearing, built for fast acceleration and track use. What you see on your screen is a physics based drag race simulator. I set up a race with the Remak and the Bugatti. It'll go a quarter mile and it'll be on a street surface. The Nevera's on top, the Chiron's on bottom. As you can see, the Nevera and the Chiron are both struggling for traction, but the Nevera still has a much better launch and it takes the quarter mile. So we see 8.7 at 168 in the Remak and 9.22 at almost 160 in the Bugatti. Remember, this is on a street surface. This is not a prep surface. Let's jump over to a prep surface and let's see how this changes the results. Before I start this race, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's get back to the race. I moved the same race over to a prep drag strip. Let's see how this changes the results. So we see a 1.90 to 60 out of the Remock and a 2.1 out of the Chiron. So they're both ridiculously fast, almost a two second zero to 60. We see nine seconds at 160 for the Pure Sport and 8.56 at 168 for the Remock. But what about a rolling race? Maybe the Bugatti can do better in a rolling race. I set up a rolling race from 50 miles an hour that'll go a mile, let's see. So the Chiron's on bottom and right off the bat, it just cannot hang with the Remock. And yeah, it's just gonna continue to pull away from it. It's going at a faster speed and it's pulling more G's. The Remock's a bit more aerodynamic. And yeah, it's just, it, the, the Bugatti can only go 217 miles an hour. So we see it hitting its limiter. The Remock gets a better time in the 60 to 130 and 100 to 150. So from a launch, from a pull, from any speed, the Remock is gonna be faster. 